Today we are making pistachio crusted salmon. And the first thing you're gonna do is shell, is like take the shell off a bunch of pistachios. This will take you about four hours. By the way, I'm just kidding. Just buy the pre-peeled pistachios. Roasted. Roasted pistachios. And then we're gonna chop them up, right? Yeah. Couldn't you use like a hammer? Mm, well, no, because you don't wanna like pulverize them, you know? Oh. Uh, so don't use a hammer because you will pulverize them. And guys, we have Anna back today. It's been a while since Hi, she joined us for a live. So you wanna just kind of lightly chop them. I'd put them in a Ziploc bag that you could pulverize them with a the hammer. Yeah, but the point is you don't really want to pulverize them. Yeah, you don't want to do them too. You want them to still be in chunks. She missed you too, Rose. The sound really is satisfying. This could be some like ASMR. All right, one final one and then we're done. And I have a new, um, cool thing I got that I'm going to show you guys. I bought electric um, salt and pepper grinders. Ooh. We got our sous chef back. That's right, Donna. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to put these to the side for a minute. Then we're gonna take some Trader Joe's Dijon mustard or any Dijon mustard. And we're gonna put like three tablespoons. One, we're making like four small, small pieces. So just depending on how many you have, you can determine how much Dijon you put. And then we're gonna do like one tablespoon of this maple flavored syrup. This is Good D's brand and it has one net carb per serving. What's the serving? One tablespoon, perfect. If you want something more thick, go for like a chalk zero, but this is all we have in our pantry, so. And if you want it a little bit sweeter, you could also do two tablespoons, but I'm only gonna put one. This is actually pretty thick. Or if you're about that carnivore life, you could probably do like honey. Then we're gonna put a little bit of pepper and salt. Mm. That's gonna take forever, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, why? Should I just get the regular salt and pepper? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so. And yeah, let's see. Maybe it's good for like your individual meal. Yeah. We're good with salt, maybe just pepper. It's like not very much is coming out. So, as yeah. far as the electric salt and pepper shakers go, I would say. They're good for individual meals, but that was not enough for like yeah. how much we needed. So we're just gonna give that a little mix. Julie, tomorrow is your day one on this lifestyle change. However you go about it, whether you're doing like full on keto or a low carb lifestyle, we will be here and we will definitely be sending prayers for strength. What does that? Okay, and I'm just gonna taste it to see if like it needs a little bit more sweetness. Mm. I think it's pretty perfect. I'm gonna put a little bit more salt. Yeah, lady elect. I saw some guy using them on TikTok and literally went to Amazon and ordered some. Donna, I ordered them on Amazon. They have these at Marshall's. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is just, oh. It's, can you just move this to the yeah. side for a sec? Okay. And we can also like do this and then zoom in. Okay. 
We're just gonna coat this all in this mixture and getting like the sides, everything really. Should we lay down oil because the skin is for sure no, gonna stick? No, because I'm the gonna put it under on the bottom too. Uh oh. Yeah. So for a tip, sure. when cooking salmon in the air fryer, when I cook it by itself, I always um, do skin side down because it sticks to your foil or even sometimes parchment paper. But I guess if we're adding this coating at all, yeah, I'm gonna the sticking. flip them right now. So you just want to make sure that this is all really well coated. gonna be so bustling. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now we're going to switch this back and just put this into a flat layer. Do you want me to hold the air fryer? No. Nah. Just gonna give them another little. These are not the frozen salmon from Costco. Um, I just actually bought those yesterday and I've had these in the fridge for like four days now. Okay. So I'm just gonna put a little bit more here on the sides. And then we're going to put this face down and then push it in to make sure that all of those um, pistachios kind of stick on there. Then we're gonna do the same to the sides. Okay, so then you get your luck with this. Ooh. And then just put this back into the air fryer and just repeat with all the rest of them. Adam, I love when Anna takes over as well. <laughs> Drizzle with olive oil, someone said. Um, sure. If we're putting them skin side down, maybe drizzle. Well, no, I don't, I've, I mean, I've done these like seven times before. I, no, 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 don't put any olive oil on. Okay. Yeah, I would just do them. I've, if I wouldn't have done this like a bunch of times, I would have said yes, but there's no need for the olive oil. Okay. Especially in this, in this case. But if you like olive oil, Go ahead and put some on there. You can also bake these at four, on 400 degrees for about like 12 minutes, really depending on the thickness of your salmon. I guess that's true, Christine. Salmon is fatty like on its own. Yeah, you don't need olive oil for this. But whenever I cook my frozen salmon, I do put olive oil on the skins or on the other side of the skin, like on the top. And then I put that side down on the parchment paper. Oh, so you're left with this. So I'm just gonna take a little bit Ooh. extra and just kind of like put it on the spaces that didn't get covered. Salmon makes you look good. Yeah, omega-3s are huge. Um, for like everything health. They're so important. That's why I eat a can of sardines or some sort of canned fish like sardines, oysters every day. Okay, so now we're gonna put this in the air fryer at 400 for like seven, 10 minutes? Yeah. Okay. I feel you though, Rose. I think it would add a unique flavor. For what? The olive oil. Um, next time. <laughs> next time. How many carbs are in pistachios? Uh, a fair amount, like seven net per serving. How many do you get in a serving? I'm not sure. Can somebody Google that? All right. I don't know what brand of sardines I eat. There's like a Prince something. Um, all right, now I just wait. Thank you. 
And we're gonna get spiritual now and say our prayers before we eat. I'm chasing Harley down. Guys, Harley's coat, look at Emma. Sit, Emma. Emma, sit. So Harley's hair is getting so long. Will we use the rest of the sauce for dipping? Oh, it's yeah. already touched the raw salmon. Yeah. Yeah, because we were like re scooping. Yeah. But I guess since these pieces were really small, maybe just like two tablespoons of the mustard would have been fine. Yeah. All right, let's get spiritual up in here. Yo, Lord, please be with anybody who is struggling on their keto journey. <coughs> Harley and help them realize that they have the power to change their eating habits. Thank you for bringing this amazing community together. We're so blessed to have each other. And most importantly, thank you for giving us life because every day we wake up is truly a blessing and we should never ever take that for granted. Amen. All right, let's get this breathing exercise in. Breathe in feelings of gratitude. Hold it and feel your body relaxing. Breathe out any stress or negativity. Breathe in feelings of inner peace. Hold it and feel your body continuing to relax. Breathe out any tension or anxiety and remind yourself everything's happening exactly as it should be. Breathe in feelings of self-love. Hold it and feel your body continuing to relax. Breathe out any self-doubt or negativity and remind yourself that you are beautiful and you are worthy of reaching your goals. Is caffeine okay for keto? Um, yes, caffeine is totally fine for keto. So Anna looked it up and a quarter cup of pistachios are five net carbs. So each one of these salmons is probably what, five net carbs or less? Yeah, I would say probably less. Cause they didn't Yeah, I would say like three and a half net carbs. She is a Cocker Spaniel, Jacqueline. All right, now we're gonna get this visualization in while we wait for the salmon to finish cooking. Close your eyes, relax. <clears throat> Guys, Harley is going crazy. She smells the salmon in the air fryer and she just can't sit still even though she already ate her food today. All right, let's get this visualization in. Close your eyes, relax. Imagine that you are in your kitchen and you feel kind of bored and you start thinking, hmm, maybe a snack would make me feel better. So you open your fridge. Imagine nothing really looks like it would be that good. So you open your freezer and you're like, eh. And then you start asking yourself, am I even really hungry? And imagine you decide you're not hungry. But then as you're walking out of the kitchen, you spot a bag of peanut M&Ms on the counter. And imagine as you look at those peanut M&Ms, suddenly you feel hungry again. But rather than interpret this feeling as actual hunger, Imagine you look at those peanut M&Ms as a blessing and an opportunity to understand how our hunger signals can become hijacked by comfort foods like peanut M&Ms. And imagine you look at those peanut M&Ms and rather than grab them and tell yourself you wanna eat them, you look at those and say, I don't want these, I don't need these, and nothing good would come from having these. And imagine you continue on with your day, and about 10 minutes later, you're not even thinking about the M&Ms anymore. All right, that is the visualization. So now we're just going to wait a few more minutes until the... Do you smell it? Yeah, it smells so good. It's like the syrup on there. So I put this tutu on Emma. It's actually a Harley costume. Emma. Emma. But it didn't fit on Emma because Harley is... 
While she, Harley's small, she does weigh about 45 pounds, so don't be deceived. She's 30 pounds. About 45. Um, but... So it wouldn't fit on Emma's body, so I put it around her neck. And it's, it, it's like a cover. It's not going to harm her. But um, now she's, like, trying to get it off. Emma! Emma! <gasps> tweets! Emma, tweets! Emma, tweets! She looks so fancy in it. Oh my god, Harley just leaped out of my lap. Hmm. Elect, they brighten my day as well. I walked right past Krispy Kreme Donuts at the store and thought of these visualizations. That's exactly what I do it for. It's like... Yo. There are so many times where... We are hitting our stride. We're living this lifestyle. We're sticking to it. We're seeing progress. And then we just see the Krispy Kreme sign or we smell the McDonald's fries. Last night, for example, we had an amazing time. We went to our friend Mel, shout out to Lady Mel's Kitchen, and hung out with her and Daniel, shout out the Not Doc. And, uh, and we had an amazing night, and we ate really good food. They made us these super bussin' burgers, and like we had them on these keto buns, and we had wings with this amazing barbecue sauce um, called the Salt Lick. It has five net carbs per serving, but it's so good. It's almost like a honey mustard of some sort. I ordered some today, but anyway. So after this really good dinner, and hanging out with friends, and feeling totally fulfilled and satisfied, we're driving home with the windows down because the temperature was really nice outside. And all of a sudden, I start smelling the smell of Burger King. We weren't even near Burger King. It was like right outside of our apartment. I just smelled Burger King. Maybe it was from this place called Cilantro that... I don't know. I don't know where it was coming from. Or like Mod Pizza or something. Who knows? Or like a taco truck. But I started smelling Burger King. And I started thinking about how good... Burger King nuggets would be dipped in their sweet and sour sauce. But then I was like, you know what? I'm about to go home and make a keto pizza. I don't need... Because it's funny, after our dinner, I still went home and ate a keto pizza because I always eat a keto pizza before bed on a low-carb tortilla. And I just stopped myself and I was like, I could go get the Burger King, but that's not what I want. I don't want to feel like crap tomorrow, especially with the oils they're fried in and all the carbs from the sweet and sour and the breading. And I was like, this is not what I want. I want to go home, eat my keto pizza and wake up tomorrow feeling great. And today I woke up so happy that I made that decision. It's like we make decisions for our present self and our present self will enjoy those nuggets for about 20 minutes. The five minute drive to Burger King will feel really good Eating them will feel really good, and then after we eat them, we'll feel satisfied. But then 20 minutes later, we're going to feel not so great. And the next day, we're going to feel not so great. And the day after that, if we were on a streak and we screwed up our progress, we're not going to feel great. So we have to consider the fact that these poor decisions around food are rewarding ourselves for 20 minutes, but they're punishing ourselves for days at a time. And if you get caught up in that lifestyle, it could punish you for years at a time, for decades. So always remember that this is about what's going to bring me the long-term happiness, because that's what you're going to live with for the rest of your life. All right. I think the salmon is done. Is it? Yeah. My recommendation would just, I usually bake it. Um, so she usually bakes it. They look yeah. a little... The mm. nuts got a little burned, but I usually bake it at 400 for like 12 minutes. But I think since it's the air fryer, I would definitely do... Oh, like you only bake it for 12 minutes? minutes? Well, this one I baked for like seven. But if you bake it, you only do 12 minutes? Yeah, only 12. Oh. Yeah, we should have baked it. Yeah. But, oh my God, these look busting. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Are you guys ready to eat this? How good does that look? Uh, I cook my pizza in the oven. 
Mm. Oh, it is. It's like a giant fish dick. Mm. All right, let's eat. Do you guys want to see the inside? Oh yeah. Hmm. How is it? I'm gonna try. Really bussin'. Oh no, it still needs a little. It's not done? No. What about the other one? Oh you didn't use a food thermometer. I think it's done. I'm just not. I I just don't think I'm really good with the air fryer. <laughs> okay. Well, so I do about nine minutes in the air fryer. Yeah, not do seven. that like 10 at um, like 375. But if you're baking it, it's like 400 for like 12 to 15 minutes and it comes out way better. Yeah, so bake it. Don't cook it in the air fryer. It's not done, yeah. <laughs> it's done enough salmon and sushi, exactly. But also, like, you're supposed to eat sushi, like, medium rare. I mean, not sushi. You're supposed to eat salmon, medium, medium you're rare. Medium rare. You're not supposed to eat all of them. Put it in the air fryer for just a little bit more. Yeah. Here, Vinny. Oh, no. All right. All right, we're putting it in the air fryer. It's fine. The... I would eat it like this. Yeah, the out the outer corner is fine. Like that fine that corner should be fine. Yeah. Yeah, see. Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm. Oh my god. This is so bustin'. Yeah, see? It was just the thickest part that needs to be. Yeah, it was just the middle. Mmm. I do eat the skin. Mmm. Alright, guys, this was bussin'. Mm. Alright. Mmm. All right, guys, that was so good. I love you. I believe in you. I will see you tomorrow. Have a blessed night.